Hi, in this video, we went through the S print F function. Before we get into that though, first we're gonna go through some dialog boxes. That way we have a context of why we're using S print F and how it can be helpful and how it's beneficial. So let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't used MATLAB dialog boxes before, be sure to check out one of my other videos and I'll be going through dialog boxes more. The goal of this code is gonna be collecting information from my user and then creating a username for them based on that information. Getting started, I'm gonna have my message box and I want an input from my user. This input is just like the input you would normally use in the command window, except for it's in a pop-up window. The first step I need to do is make sure I actually have usable data. So all my data that I'm collecting from a user is coming in as celerase. So I'm converting my data to make sure I can use it. So I'm using char to convert it to a character array and I'm using string to double to convert it to numeric data. Since I'm using dialog boxes to collect the user data and to communicate with my user in the beginning, I need to continue using those. I don't wanna display the information about their username in an fprintf on the command window, but I can't create that string using fprintf. Well, the cool thing is there's a function called sprintf, and it's exactly the same as fprintf, except for it stores that string to a variable instead of displaying it in the command window. With sprintf, I have all those same functionalities, but now instead of just displaying it in the command window, I'm storing it to a string. So I can use that string anywhere in my code. I have it stored to a variable. And in this case, I'm just putting it in a message box to tell my user, hey, I made your username. This is what it is based on your inputs. If you want more details on different placeholders and formatting and different things you can do within sprintf and fprintf, check out my fprintf video. 